Hello Gemini and welcome to your weekly messages from the universe. Gemini, we are going to be looking at some tarot cards to give us the energies that you are working with this week. I want to remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and your ascendant sign because by doing so you get a much deeper reading of the energies that you are working with this week. If you could subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell, that would be awesome as I release videos for you every single day. So these are the cards that we have. These are the energies that you are working with this week. So Gemini, let's have a look to see what is going on. You have, wow, you have a lot of major arcana cards here. You have the first three are all major arcana cards and this one and that one. So you have five major arcana cards. So really pay attention to this reading because you have major life life changes decisions that you are going to be making and yeah let's have a look so gemini you are starting off as the hierophant in that energy of wanting to seek a mentor wanting to seek maybe a spiritual guru maybe you've been going through that spiritual awakening and you just need someone who can help you on that ladder to ascension on that ladder to something Maybe you are just seeking a counselor, a teacher, because you feel that you want to go on a journey. You want to elevate yourself, but you don't know how to do it. And you are seeking someone who knows the way, someone who's done this before, so that they can give you the tips, the tricks, the help that's going to see you successful a lot faster than you doing this by yourself and we're seeing that by seeking a mentor by seeking guidance there's this energy that really has you feeling inspired feeling like i feel so good i am glad i went and asked for some help i went and asked for some guidance because figuring it out for yourself was going to take a lot longer than approaching someone who knows how to do it already, someone who can inspire you. So we're seeing you here as the major arcana card of the sun, feeling good, feeling inspired. Life is good. You feel radiant. You are full of joy. You are like, ah, oh, yes, this is it. And as you are feeling inspired, you now know that it is time to take action because we all know like maybe you have listened to a tarot reading and you felt inspired you felt like yes i'm gonna go and do it but as soon as you stepped away life starts happening and that inspiration dissipates it goes away but you are not letting that happen to you this time you are taking the information that has been given to you. You are feeling like this was the missing key. And you are taking action. Action that leads to victory. Because we can see you now as the chariot. And the chariot is about progress. It's about moving quickly. This is something successful that you're starting. Maybe you wanted to start your own business maybe you wanted to start your own tarot channel and you went approach someone and they're teaching you the tricks and as you are feeling inspired you're getting started and because you have someone who is there holding your hand telling you what to do you are getting that success a lot quicker a lot faster than figuring it out for yourself you are feeling capable you are feeling like, I can do this. You are really going for it. And I really love this energy that is here, Gemini. Certainly go for your goals. Don't just be in that energy of watching motivational speeches, watching other people doing stuff that you want to do and feeling inspired, but they're not doing anything about it. Use this energy that is here for you of the chariot. Use this. Because success is here if you're willing to take things into your own hands. Because we can see with our chariot, 
He is going on the journey. He is feeling inspired. He is so inspired and so fired up that he is on top of the carriage because he just wants to see everything, he wants to take it all in, the whole experience of the journey that he's going in. So we're seeing you next. Again, feeling joyous, feeling supported. There is celebration on the cards. We have the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands is a lovely energy that really sees you feeling passionate. Not only are you feeling passionate and fired up, you have the support that you need. And we're seeing that this is energy, like I said, of you going on some sort of journey. So you have you have asked a mentor to help you. They have inspired you. You are going on that journey. You're understanding that you have support. You have someone you can call on if things don't go as well as you wanted them to. Because you have your help here. You have your guide here. And now we are seeing you as the fool. The fool is that energy of taking that leap of faith. Taking that leap of faith into something that you feel really inspired and excited about. The fool card sees you with your hopes high. This is your hopes, your dreams. This is you at the beginning of something. This is you knowing that you are divinely inspired, you are divinely supported. If you're doing things that really resonates with you, deep down in your solar plexus, that is that divine giving you that thumbs up. You're using the thumbs up and you are just going for it. So there's a lot of energy of really going for it, of really feeling like I've got this. And now we arrive the energy of the king of swords this is you feeling capable capable to deliver a powerful speech that inspires that motivates maybe now you have started your own business maybe now you have started whatever it is that you were rushing to go and get started it's all started and you're feeling like the king of wands sorry, of swords and the king of swords it's all about our speech. It's all about what is going on in your mind. It's all about your thoughts and your beliefs. So through your thoughts, through your beliefs, you are able to inspire other people. You're able to speak clearly your vision, your goals. Maybe like I said, you've started something. And maybe you need to tell your family, hey, kids, hey, we are doing X, Y, Z, or I am going to be doing X, Y, Z, and I feel really good. And by you stating your excitement and stating clearly what it is, your vision, your goal, your aspirations, your why, other people are getting right behind you. Other people are seeing you and thinking, wow, what has happened to that guy? Remember, the cards are sexless. So this is you just being at the top of your game, not only on the outside, this is you on top of your game in your mind. This is you on top of your game with clarity of thoughts, clarity of speech. You are writing that business plan if you need to do that. And it is awesome. You are delivering your speech to investors and you are on point. So this is a really good energy. So we're seeing things are developing really well for you. And now we're seeing you as the eight of pentacles here. Really working, putting in the time and the effort that is required for a job well done. This is you really being passionate and wanting to create that legacy, wanting to create a good reputation. So you don't care if you have to work day and night because you are really inspired to create something beautiful. You're really inspired to make something of yourself. And I love this, uh, the Eight of Pentacles because like you can see, it's just a beautiful energy of really taking the time and the effort that is required. You do the legal paperwork, 
you deal with the red tape and then you sit here and you're creating and you're making whatever it is that you want to create and make. And in doing so, you're feeling like things are moving. You're feeling like there is progress and momentum. You're feeling really good as you can see with the colors of the cards that you're feeling really good. You don't care about putting the time and the effort that is required because you love what you do. You could do this day in, day out, month in, month out, and you still feel that fire, that inspiration, because this is you at your core, at your being. This is your soul expressing itself. We can see your soul certainly expressing itself because the next card we have is the Knight of Wands. And look at you. The Knight of Wands are all about going on that adventure. It's all about being brave. It's about being fired up, using your passion to really light you up and create something that you are so excited about. The Knight of Wands are all about that progress. It's about the journey. And in taking this journey, we are seeing the joy on your face. We are seeing the joy of your heart. We are seeing the joy of being able to express yourself through your passion, through what it is that you do. So we're seeing you here feeling absolutely amazing. You are feeling fired up and you're feeling like this journey has, has been inspired. And then the divine just wants to give you that warning because now we have the moon card, which is another major kind of card that we have. And at some point, because things are going so good, you could start having that feeling of worrying. You could start having that feeling of, what about if things start going wrong? There's this feeling of, of almost like doom. Have you ever had that feeling before where life is just going so freaking good? Everything that you're doing is just flowing. And then suddenly from nowhere, this anxiety starts creeping in. This worry starts creeping in. What if this happens? What about if this happens? What if, what if the divine is warning you that if at any point that feeling of what if starts to creep in, deal with that immediately. Because this is how you can start creating illusions through your fears, through your worry that are not real. And these illusions are going to start stealing the joy. They're going to start stealing the brilliance of everything that you have created. So really keep your emotions in check. When you start feeling worried, find someone, maybe a counselor, maybe go back to your mentor. Find someone you can speak to who can talk to you about what it is that you're feeling, why you are feeling that, what is your stress, what is your worry, what is that worry in your subconscious mind, because the moon deals with our subconscious mind. So in your subconscious mind, there is just this, this worry. Maybe you're starting to feel that I'm not good enough to have this much success. I'm not good enough to have this much joy and abundance. I am not good enough because fill in the blanks. When this energy start to creep in, be sure to go and get that hierophant. Be sure to go and get that counselor, that friend, that someone that you can speak to honestly, deeply from your heart and express yourself. Because by allowing these feelings from the moon card to come up and surface. You can sit with them. Then you can release them so they can be on their way so that they do not steal this incredible journey that you are going on. So, Gemini, this is the reading that I have for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'm going to see you in my next video and it's a goodbye from me.